Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, today we'll look at the issue on the Samsung Galaxy S10, as you can see here, whether that be S10, S10e, or S10 Plus, where we're seeing unfortunately the camera has stopped. So if you're getting the camera error where it says unfortunately camera stop, try all of the following tips. Now the first thing you want to do, guys, is if you're getting the um, camera bug where the camera is crashing, is just go to settings. Once you're in settings, you're gonna um, look around. Once you look around, you should find the option for um, apps. Go to apps. Once you're in apps, you're going to search for the camera. You can use the search feature up here. Search for camera. Once you find the camera, go ahead. Select the camera. And of course, go to storage. And then you're going to clear cache and clear data. I'm not going to do it on this device, but you do get the idea here. So just choose clear cache, then clear data. Once you do that, go back and you're going to force stop the application. And of course, after this, you can restart your phone. Once start back up again, let's check the camera to see that it's working or if it's not working. And of course, if it's not working, then to go to the second step. The next step, guys, if the app will allow you to open the camera, simply go into settings. And of course, if you can get into settings, go down to the base here. And choose the option that says reset settings which is reset all the camera settings to their default if you cannot get to the through the camera directly as it keeps crashing while launching try this one again go to settings go back to apps search for the camera again and then try to launch the camera settings directly by tapping the settings option right beside the camera which is that gear icon and see if it will allow you to go here and of course, again, just hit the reset camera settings. Should be quite simple to do that. The next thing you want to try, guys, is to update all your apps. Make sure you're connected to the internet. And of course, while connected to the internet, you're going to go to Google Play. Once in Google Play, let's simply try to update all your apps by clicking the option, the three um, lines up here. And go into My Apps and Games. Once you're in My Apps and Games, let's go ahead and check for updates. If there are any, let's go ahead and update all apps. Um, you can also check through um, Samsung apps. So for Samsung apps, just go to the Galaxy Store similarly. All right, so once you're here, just simply tap here, then go to updates and check for updates. And finally, to update again, make sure the software in your phone is updated. Go to settings, scroll all the way down, hit software update, and of course, download and install. And allow your phone to check for updates. Usually, um, software updates usually update apps such as the camera, which can end up fixing bugs and so on especially with the camera samsung tend to send out stability updates and these stability updates will make the phone such as the camera so on fix known issues and all that next thing you can try guys to reset app preferences so go again to apps in settings hit here and then you're going to reset app preferences which is this last option down here so just stop follow the on-screen um, instruction and reset another thing you can try guys is to see if there's an app on your phone that's messing with the camera are holding the permission of the camera now usually to stop these apps you can actually um, uninstall those apps so usually it should be the last app that you have installed or last two to three apps so what i advise is that you um, uninstall the last three apps that you install before you notice the issue and by doing that you should be able to free up the camera also guys it could be that something that's using the camera such as um, a application such as whatsapp or so on so what you want to do is to go into the permissions and prevent certain applications from using the camera, turn it off temporarily, which should free up the camera. So for example, if you suspect that application that uses the camera, such as WhatsApp is using the camera, such as using you are using it before for video call, she might be holding it captive right now. So let's go to um, app info, permissions if you think this is, and revoke access to the camera by turning that off and closing and then trying the camera to see if it will then start to work. Also, you can also clear the cache partition of your device. I wouldn't go into this in this video, but I have a separate tutorial on that. So you can click somewhere here or down in the description and be taken to that video. Once you watch that video, I'll show you to clear the cache partition. And of course, guys, if all else fails, you can try doing a complete reset. To do that, just back up your device, then go down to um, general management in settings, then go to reset. Once you're in reset, you're going to look for the option that says um, factory data reset, which is this option here. And let's go ahead and Follow the on-screen instructions to reset. But of course, that should be our last resort. If after that your device is still giving the issue, it would mean therefore it's not a 
software issue and must be a hardware issue. To fix such a problem, when it's a hardware issue, um, you'd have to change the camera or something like that. For that, you'll need a professional help if you're not able to do it. So you'll need to take it into a Samsung store. Or if you have your device on a warranty, you can actually still get your device replaced. All right, guys. So that has been about um, eight tips to nine tips that you can use to fix issues pertaining to your camera crashing with unfortunate camera stops. Recording from Block Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.